हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल मैजिक ऑफ मेडिसिन टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट पेरिटोनियल इंक्लूजन सिस्ट पेरिटोनियल इंक्लूजन सिस्ट आर बेनाइन पेरिटोनियल सूडोसिस्ट दीज आर अ काइंड ऑफ लोकलाइज पेरिटोनियल फ्लूड कलेक्शन सीन इन पेल्विक कैविटीज बाउंडेड बाय पेरिटोनियल एडिशंस नाउ कमिंग टू द रिस्क फैक्टर्स ऑफ पेरिटोनियल इंक्लूजन सिस्ट सो पेरिटोनियल इंक्लूजन सिस्ट occur exclusively in patients who had an history of either of these four abdominal surgery trauma pid that is pelvic inflammatory disease or endometriosis now what is the pathophysiology behind the formation of peritoneal inclusion cyst there is oozing of ovarian fluid from normal functional ovary which is normally in normal circumstances is absorbed by the peritoneum however the absorptive capacity of the peritoneum is greatly diminished in the presence of inflammation and peritoneal adhesions this leads to accumulation of loculated fluid which has been trapped in the peritoneal adhesions classically surrounding a functional ovary now look at this diagram it shows the pictorial representation of the oozing of ovarian fluid which is accumulated and is loculated and is engulfing the ipsilateral ovary the engulfed ovary take a look it appears normal in its own now coming to the clinical features these patients present with pelvic pain or pelvic mass however 10% of these cases are discovered incidentally now when you see such patient you will definitely order a usg pelvis or usg lower abdomen so on ultrasound or even in ct or mr you will see a cystic lesion with following characteristics the size characteristics can be anything it can be from small localized collection to even large cystic mass which can occupy the entire pelvis coming to the shape characteristic shape can be ovoid or irregular but the characteristic pattern is the spider web pattern which is the cyst will be seen to entrap the ipsilateral ovary there will be no discrete wall there will be no mural nodularity in peritoneal inclusion cyst so remember this classical picture of peritoneal inclusion cyst the cyst will be ovoid or irregular with the spider web pattern and no discrete wall and no mural nodularity this is how the peritoneal inclusion cyst is seen in ultrasound so this is the transvaginal scan and you can see a loculated fluid collection and trapping the ipsilateral ovary this is the classic picture of peritoneal inclusion cyst note that there is no wall thickening there is no mural nodularity and there is no internal vascularity within this cyst coming to the treatment options so one thing to remember is that these cysts are benign they have no malignant potential so we will go by the conservative treatments we can give the patient gnr analogs or oral contraceptive pills to suppress ovulations and to suppress oozing of the ovarian fluid second we can give them analgesics to relieve the pelvic pain and third is the cyst fluid aspiration however the aspiration can lead to recurrence so this is not sure sure treatment for peritoneal inclusion cyst now coming to the ask you questions so the examiner can ask you the risk factors of the peritoneal inclusion cyst the pathophysiology behind the inclusion cyst so the risk factors you need to know that any trauma any insult in the abdomen or pelvis which leads to inflammation and peritoneal adhesions is the causative factor for peritoneal inclusion cyst so when the examiner asks you what are the risk factors for pic you need to tell the risk factors as abdominal surgery history of any trauma pelvic inflammatory disease and endometriosis second question is what is the pathophysiology the pathophysiology is the oozing of ovarian fluid which is not able to be reabsorbed by the peritoneum because of peritoneal adhesions leading to loculated fluid and trapping the functional ovary next question is the classic imaging appearance and the classic spider web pattern and the last question is the treatment so you need to tell all the treatment options beginning from the gnr analogs oral contraceptive pills to then analgesics and the fluid aspiration of the cyst so that is all you need to know about peritoneal inclusion cyst thank you for watching the video if you found the video useful please like share and subscribe the channel